Hey you guys, how's it going? Skylar here. So um, I just kind of wanted to talk about a few exchanges and kind of how, how you get started with Bit with uh, getting money into Bitcoin from your bank account or credit card or whatever. Um, so um, and I get asked this question a lot. So it's it's uh, I'm not going to go through the logging in step by step by step by step process, but kind of the websites you need to go to and the process you kind of need to go through and a general roadmap. So um, the website I like to use um, is Kraken. Um, they uh, th that's the safe. I like to use it more in Coinbase. Coinbase is super expensive, and they're um, I have a lot of friends that are telling me to keep you know stay away from it, and uh, you know, and and everyone's always trying to push me to this website. Everyone recommends it safe. I don't know that much about coding and that that sort of stuff, but. Uh, but I just know that uh, everywhere I go, this site's recommended as the place to go to, you know, uh, get your money into uh, an exchange and start trading alter alternate coins. So once you get your money into this exchange, you can you can send them off to other exchanges and trade coins and then you know send them off to wallets and you know all of that. But let me kind of um, show you. Um, a few exchanges that I use and uh, and yeah so this website sign up for it and just to let you know they're all gonna be they all can be a nightmare to sign up with uh, I it took me three months to get accepted on one exchange once um, uh, it, it just can take a while so um, they all they also you know will ask for your social security a lot of them um, you know your driver's license number they're gonna you know ask for you know your your blood type and you know your and, I'm just kidding but um, just know that you're gonna have to give a lot of personable information personal information um, on these exchanges in order to have a, when you get signed up so once you finally get signed up and they accept you and everything's good and gravy and the registration isn't down by the way real quick if the registrations are down on any of these websites the best way um, is to get follow them on Twitter if you don't have a Twitter make an, make a Twitter account and just follow them on Twitter make it all every single tweet that they do make it notify you because they're gonna say hey the exchange is up and they could be down in an hour later and down for two days before they bring it back up for just one more hour so um, I found that's the best way this website was uh, I uh, had a friend sign up yesterday and they seem to do it fine without any problem um, but just know that can be a, a problem so um, also um, they do um, you know quite a bit of volume a little under a billion dollars of volume um, and they have quite a bit of alternate coins as well um, so once you end up getting your money into this exchange and you end up transferring it from your bank account and you swap it out for Ethereum or Bitcoin or, or whatever you choose to do, um, uh, then you can start moving them to other exchanges. Now Bitcoin's accepted at every single exchange, Ethereum on most exchange, ex exchanges, Litecoin, you know, once it starts, once the alternate coin starts dropping off, uh, the, the less and less exchanges have it. So, Bitcoin is accepted on every exchange, though, and Ethereum on most. Um, and Ethereum is cheaper and faster. So, um, you know, just uh, just depends on what exchanges you want to go on, or depending on what what coin you want to put your money in. But once you get your money into this exchange, and you can send them off to you know other other exchanges get coins and then send them off to your wallets and all that jazz so um, the other exchange I um, I really like is Binance it's huge it's fast customer service is great um, even though they're they're that's what they're struggling on is their customer service I find that it's still better than most of these other exchanges um, and they have a ton of coins that you can trade from um, and they're adding coins all the time. Um, they're always doing, you know, these programs where they're giving cars away, and you know that's not necessarily a reason why you want to hop into an exchange. But um, but just know um, you don't want to keep your money in any exchange. You want to put them in an exchange, make your trades, take them out. You know, and if you're doing day trading or whatever, that's a whole another story. But um, if you're keeping it in even for you know a month or three months you're gonna want to put it into a wallet um, an offline wallet which we'll talk about later but um, Binance does a lot of volume 4.2 billion dollars worth of trade volume so um, 
so you just know that especially like if a company says that they're about to get launched on Binance and they're on a exchange like KuCoin or something and that's it you know like holy moly they now have they now have like a billion they have billions more dollars that can be invested into that coin so um, anyways um, when you're looking at coins that's just something to be aware of but just know Binance can <clears throat> can produce lots of volume it also makes them vulnerable so just know um, you know don't keep your money in exchanges um, but uh, but yeah the uh, and then um, two smaller exchanges I like um, KuCoin um, is one uh, and they do exchange with uh, well uh, they exchange with e Ethereum and uh, Bitcoin go to the markets um, and they do have quite a bit of coins as well looks like they have NEO and then KCS which is their coin yeah, so they have quite a bit of coins they can exchange from. Um, and uh, when we go to the volume, looks like, yeah, so I mean, you, you still have 137 million. It's not nearly as big as Binance, but still. Um, there are exchanges that, you know, do, you know, 800,000 or something like that. So it's like, cool, if that, if there's a coin doing well on an exchange that does less than a million, and then it's, you know, it's moving to KuCoin or something. Um, you're like cool. You you now have you know 137 times more of the money that could be invested into that coin if it takes off. So you know something to think, something to be aware of. But um, and as you see, tons and tons of coins, and they're always adding coins. And if you follow them on Twitter, they're always um, talking about the coins they're adding, and um, they let you vote on coins sometimes. So does Binance. Um, um, but uh, yeah. The um, last exchange I'm going to talk about is Cryptopia. Um, Cryptopia is where I find a lot of sleeper coins. Um, I end up uh, finding a bunch of coins that are about to hit Cryptopia and, and then doing an investigation on them. Uh, uh, um, and they also do, um, I have a marketplace, so they have a little, you know, Amazon-esque, you know, type deal um, marketplace that you can... Uh, you know, trade your your crypto or um, for your crypto for books or for you know for there's a lot of paraphernalia on there, but uh, well that is kind of cool that you can actually buy stuff with your crypto and have it sent to you. Uh, and they have an exchange um, with a um, now so they do 55 million, so it's not nearly as much as um, all the other exchanges, but they do have like I said a lot of coins and. Uh, Holy moly, look at that. These aren't, uh, oh wow, look at that. That's cool. Um, at any rate, these are the four exchanges um, that I like to go on. Uh, if you, um, <laughs> by the way, they don't have 400 coins. Um, these are all the exchanges. So um, you'll see a lot of the coins in here multiple times. Um, there's a coin that, I, anyways, I, uh, I like all four of these exchanges. Um, however, I don't keep my money in any of these exchanges, nor would I recommend anybody doing that. Um, if you were to, um, keep your money into a place, I, this is kind of the, the place I would keep it at. Um, now these are in crazy back order. They recently just got a huge boost of, um, cash, um, um, brought into their company for uh, making these quicker. Um, these um, are recommended by, I've never heard anybody actually recommend a better wallet than this. So um, it's offline, you, you know, um, the only way that people can hack into it is while you currently have it plugged in online and using it at that specific time. So um, a lot of people are afraid of, you know, uh, you know, all this malware and stuff you have on, on your phones. 
uh, you know, people are taking screenshots and, you know, the key loggers, and so they don't need to hack into your wallet because they've already screenshot and key logged, you know, your passcodes that you've put in yourself, so they don't need to hack into it. They, you've already given it to them with a, a simple, you know, malware on your computer or whatever. So, you know, people are afraid of, you know, uh, like John McAfee is, is saying that one day um, people are just going to you know take everybody's money at the same time and people are going to be you know hit at the same time and um and people are going to lose a ton of money before they're going to be able to figure out you know what's going on and anyways all that stuff can be completely avoided by an offline wallet um and then the only thing you got to worry about is not losing the <laughs> the usb wallet um but uh at any rate um, that was a little longer video than I wanted it to be, but, uh, but yeah, if you do have any questions, uh, or, um, other exchanges it, uh, that you like or anything like that, uh, comment below, um, and, uh, let's start a discussion. Uh, and if any of you have any questions also about getting started, about registrations being paused or anything, um, you know, also leave comments. I'll, I'll try to answer any questions I can as fast as I can. Uh, and yeah, thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you guys later.